Hi Sagittarius, this is your February mid-month tarot reading. I do three separate spreads in my mid-month readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and I'll do a love from the past spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is on new love in the second half of February. We have the Page of Cups clarified by the Sun. We have the Three of Pentacles clarified by Temperance. We have Justice. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups with the Six of Wands and the Star. And uh, we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces, or an Aquarius or a Libra, or perhaps another uh, Sagittarius. You know, the word that keeps popping up inside my head <laughs> when I look at this um, spread, Sagittarius, is the word finally. You're finally getting someone who truly, genuinely loves you. Uh, you're finally getting what you deserve. You're finally going to be happy. It's finally a wish come true for you. Right? We've got the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Cups in the same reading. So this is like a progression from Page to Knight to Ace. Right? It's all about genuine, authentic love. The Knight of Cups could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but I think all those three cards are talking about the same thing. Genuine, authentic love. Right, uh, the Page of Cups, the first card that came out is classified by the Sun. The Sun is the happiest card in the deck. So it's like instant happiness. <laughs> right? And uh, the very last card that came out by the deck is the Star. The Star is the personal Aquarius card, but it is a card of a wish come true. And the thing about the, the Star card is this is something we wish for or hope for for a very long time. So at long last, Sagittarius, um, you're getting this person. Very loving person. Right? So yeah, the Page of Cups, the first guy that came out, this is kind of like classic. This is somebody reaching you out, reaching out to you, somebody buying you a refreshment at, a, at an establishment. You could be meeting this person online, so they will hit you up on that social media, or they will, you know, swipe to the right or left. I, I don't know, I don't use those apps. <laughs> so they will swipe in the right direction. <laughs> okay. So yeah, the, the Page of Cups is the nicest page out of all four pages, right? So this is them just being super nice to you, this is them buying you that refreshment, buying you flowers, taking you out, you know, and the, the sun clarifying the Page of Cups is uh, the happiest card on the deck, so you will immediately feel happy about this, right? Um, then we have the Three of Pentacles, clarified by Temperance. Temperance is your personal card, Sagittarius, right? Unless you're dealing with another Sagittarius, but I think that's you. You know, it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading. That means you're the one in charge, you're the one calling the shots, and everything pretty much revolves around you. So, finally, everything revolves around you, and finally, it's all about your happiness. And the Three of Pentacles, Temperance is clarifying, is a great card to have. It could be somebody you work with, by the way. Right? Or this person could be associated with the way you make your money in some shape or form. But if we want to stay more general, then the Three of Pentacles is all about building this connection from the ground up, making sure the foundation is solid. So again, from the very beginning, you will realize this is the right person. This person is going to be your, worth your time and effort. And they will feel the same way about you because the Three of Pentacles, it's two people, two parties, you know, putting time and effort. I'm not saying it's going to be hard, but it's going to be like from the very beginning, you'll know that yeah, I'm not going to be wasting my time with this person. We have Justice in the middle. Justice is the personal Libra card. You could be dealing with a Libra. Or Justice is all about, you know, you finally getting what you deserve with the Justice card. Justice could also represent the legal system. And by that, I mean it could be an actual place where people get married, like a chapel. Or it could be a person who's got the authority to marry other people, like a county clerk or a minister or a priest. So, yeah. A commitment is definitely on the horizon between the two of you. And as I already mentioned, we got the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio, or Pisces. Or, again, this is all about genuine, authentic love coming towards you. The Knight of Cups is often called the Knight in the Shining Armor. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Cups with the uh, Six of Wands and the Star. The Ace of Cups is uh, one of the best cards you can potentially get for a new love offer. The Six of Wands right next to it is a card of victory, it's a card of success, it's a card of feeling great, it's a card of, um, you know, back in the day the Six of Wands used to be called the Proposal card. So yeah, don't be surprised if at some point in not so such distant future this person will pop the question 
And uh, the star, as I already mentioned, is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Or the star is a wish come true. So at long last, you're getting what you deserve. This very loving person who is going to make uh, you feel very loved. And uh, this person is definitely not a waste of time. It's, it's actually recommended here, I think, <laughs> to start building uh, with this person, to start building this nest together, to look into the future, make future plans with them. Really happy for you, Sagittarius. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Page of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups, and the Empress on the bottom of the deck. There's only one way to interpret this spread. Um, all those pages are most likely children, um, existing children or future children, right? The Empress on the bottom of the deck is a person who is either expecting a baby, right? Or the Empress is somebody who is already, who already has children, you know? It could be you, it could be your significant other, um, you know, all those kids that don't have to be your kids. Perhaps there's like a children's birthday party and you're going or you're organizing and uh, some of those kids could be yours and then it's just pretty much everything revolves around children I see nothing negative nothing bad if you're thinking about expanding your existing family then there you go <laughs> I'm not predicting triplets no <laughs> well if uh, that's the case you can always leave me a comment let me know but um, yeah all, those pa pages are all children you know and uh, the Empress is a mother figure <laughs> All right, so yeah, nothing bad. Again, perhaps it's a birthday party, or you're just babysitting, or you need somebody to babysit your children. Whatever, you know. I didn't even want to clarify anything here, but uh, the Empress is definitely a mother figure, and those pages are all children. <laughs> All right, cool. Sagittarius, let's see um, if anybody comes back from the past for you. In the second half of February, keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Wands, we have the Knight of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands, and then we also have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, Aries, Leo, or not a Sagittarius. Um, you need to shut this person down whenever they show up. Like you hear, you see the first text from this person. Shut them down, block them, all right? Because all this person wants is uh, to get busy behind closed doors, if you know what I mean. And they're coming in, perhaps you're like glowing up, perhaps you're doing really good, you could be in the spotlight, you could be recognized, you could be admired by many right now. Something is happening in your life right now, Sagittarius, that's putting you into the spotlight. The Nine of Pentacles, the first card I came out, that is definitely you, and it's a great card to have. It is a card of a single person, but at the same time, it's a card of somebody who is doing great. You know, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, and again, for some reason, I keep thinking that you are in the spotlight. So this person noticed that, and uh, you've dealt with this person before, obviously, right? And uh, it's like it's like sport. For this person they want to see if they still got it if they can still lure you back in if they can still seduce you you know all that bad stuff and that's why they're coming in for that particular reason not because they want you back not because they want to commit to you they just want to have some fun and to see if they still got it all right the knight of wands it could be a fellow fire sign usually or another sagittarius but most likely the knight of wands is a player you know somebody who is hot and cold in another real life Somebody who is a playboy, playgirl kind of character. The Seven of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Wands, is a card of a cheater. It's a card of a deception. It's a card of somebody who sneaks around. And the Ace of Wands is nothing but uh, getting busy behind closed doors. That is it. Right? The Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of an, um, uh, an abrupt ending, and that's what you should do. You, just, you should just shut it down. Don't even bother with this person. All right? And move on with your life. You've already moved on. I'm sure you have. And so send this person back to the past where they belong. And that's what I got for you, Sagittarius. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing the rest of February. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.